about sick and Inside Insight News Hour, and this is being videotaped, and we're going to play some of the excerpts on public television. But the, covering these issues, not only out here in the Stillwater District or the Matamidi District or the St. Paul District, you have the same game going on in other districts. Now, we know that these districts all belong to the Minnesota School Board Association, so they all use the same playbook. And it's up to you, the legislature, like leaders, and I hope this isn't just a exercise in eyewash for your upcoming election. Now, the buck stops with you, absolutely. Now, I use and the example of what went on in Stillwater was passing that referendum to build a new school in Woodbury, not in the center of the development that's going in the, uh, the district, but in Woodbury, so Woodbury could never take over that part of the district that the people that live in Woodbury want to be in the Woodbury district. By the location of that new school, it forever keeps the Woodbury South Washington district from taking what should be in that district. North St. Paul did the same thing with part of Woodbury. You people need to look at these school districts and these boundaries. The other thing is, with this school, the way it was set up, St. Paul is closing Galtier School, another neighborhood school, just like it's going on here, while they're asking for money to build a new middle school. And I've told people in St. Paul, you better not get fooled like they fooled the people in Stillwater. Get them to build a new school, pass a bond levy referendum, and then allow them to have the capacity to turn around and close schools. It's up to you people. Now, how much, and I want to answer right now, how much does the state pay per student? What's the formula, what's the fund? Not per, per, per pupil unit, but per student. What are you paying these districts? You mean, you mean the formula? Well, what, what, what do you pay? I know there's a game that's played with word, words. Pupil units are not pupils or students. Right. It's a weighted figure. So what do you pay per student? What is it, 8,000? The, the, what we call the basic formula, basic formula, and there's all kinds of things you can add on, depending on your location and poverty and transportation and a lot of other things. But the basic formula is right around 7,000, give or take. I don't know the exact number, but that's what they get is a basic amount. And then there's amounts added on to that we call compensatory uh, dollars. So now is that a pupil unit or is that a student? There's, uh, I'm going to tell you something honestly, there's two people in the state of Minnesota that probably understand that formula and all those definitions, and they're not in this room. So, uh, uh, it's a very complicated formula. Uh, we struggle with it, uh, along with the equalization formula. But uh, they do have, the basic idea with pupil units is that if you're in kindergarten or first grade, you probably don't need as much support as you would if you're in 11th grade, right? So. Do adjustments on that, and then they do adjusted daily pupil units for different things. So it goes from the basic kid, kid's kid, kid, to several different levels. Starts off maybe less than one whole kid because they don't need full funding, to something more than a whole kid because they'll need a little bit more. Does that make sense? Well, just so people understand, if if the state's paying seven thousand or seventy five hundred per pupil unit, they're really paying about 8,000 per student. That's a game they play. Now, going back to where they build these schools, Lake Elmo has 12 housing developments going in. Why wasn't the school put in there? There's your Department of Education. And the Commissioner of Education was just applying for the uh, superintendent of the Minneapolis schools. Of course, they hired the, their second choice over there. But I thought she came out and listen to the people and did what the commissioner needed to do except didn't prove or go for this necessity issue 
that the, that the Department of Education is supposed to do, and you people are over that department. You people need to hold them accountable and hold their feet to the fire. And you need to support these people because what happens in this district gets replicated across the state. And if, if there isn't a stand here, it'll go on in St. Paul, it'll go on in the next district and the next district. They're all playing out of the same playbook. They all know how to manipulate the system. Go, go look at, at the book that uh, was written by, what was the former superintendent of uh, the Matamidi district? How, how to manipulate the voters, how to manipulate these, these levies and these bond referendums. This is the game that you're supposed to stop. So when, when the session ends down there and people say shame on you because you didn't do anything, this is the kind of issue that really makes a difference right here. We don't care about stadiums, we don't care about light rails, we care about our schools, we care about the money that when you take just the state portion, $8,000 times, times uh, 20, 25 students, times the number of students in the school, look at the money that, that the state throws at, $19,000 per student per year. That's the average in this state, in the metropolitan area. Tell me that isn't enough money to educate a, a student. That's a false statement. Well, it's not 19, right, right. It's, of course, it's, Minneapolis, it's 21,000. Well, no, it's... But, <laughs> because, no, I want to answer that, because that's the game that gets played all the time. You take the whole budget and divide it by the number of students, and that's what you get. You don't play this game with, oh, the general fund. No, you want the whole, whole issue that these taxpayers pay. When you take the whole... St. Paul is $700 million, $19,000 a student. Minneapolis is $21,000. When's enough? You know the size of the Stillwater budget, sir? Can you tell me that? Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're, we're going to go through uh, so here. So I mean, I mean, you know, Stillwater is down a little. I think oh, Stillwater is still, sir. still I, what, what is it, 16, 14? Montevideo is 19,000. North St. Paul is 19,000. That, sir, that's not true. I sat on the district budget review committee two years ago. What, what district? ISD what 834. District? This district. Okay. It's less than $11,000. No, you're not doing the whole budget. Yes, sir, it was. Yes, sir, it was. I have probably attended more school board meetings than the rest of you here. Not than me. I'm there. Not than school. me. How many districts do you sit in on? I'm talking about the Stillwater School District, sir. You can ask any of the board members who is the most difficult citizen when it comes to. No, it's true. The question is spending and academic excellence. I've been a thorn in their side for years. Ask them. You are full. You voted for All right, we're going to move on, guys. We're going to move on. No. Who was that? You sure. voted for sure. closing the school. Mr. Zick, we're going to move on. We're going to move honest. on. Mr. Zick, we're going to move you. on. Yes. We are Thank moving you. on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Who would like to go next?